Well, uh, in this uh, 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 brief uh, uh, segment, uh, I'm going to get the a complex uh, representation representation of electromagnetic uh, waves. Uh, that's a little easier to deal with in terms of this complex representation once you get the hang of it. And uh, we've seen that uh, you can either, for uh, uh, harmonic waves in three dimension, the electric field uh, for a plane wave uh, is, is this, and electric uh, field uh, for, uh, uh, that's a cosine, or we could use a sine function here. It kind of is a matter of choice you know, uh, for you. Uh, all of these variables uh, in this are real uh, for the plane wave. And uh, uh, we could do some manipulation and add these two. I'll, I'll take the real part here and just write that as the real part. And then the sign, I will put it in the imaginary part. And so I'll have a, a now I'll have a complex electric field. I, I is the square root of minus 1 uh, that I could write in this fashion. And then E uh, here now is a complex uh, 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 vector. Uh, I can factor out the, uh, the amplitude portion, the vector amplitude, and I get this uh, cosine plus I sine. And uh, one can, uh, can use the uh, uh, Euler relationship in general uh, e to the i phi is equal to cosine of phi plus i sine phi, where i is the square root of minus 1. And so that's exactly what I've got here. And I've got the uh, electric uh, uh, field. The complex electric field is the amplitude. In general, this could be complex. I didn't put a, a phase factor on these, but if there's a phase factor, one can pull that out and associate it uh, here with the uh, complex amplitude. So usually at this stage, you don't ever put in the phase factor uh, to any great extent, but keep the phase factor involved with uh, the, uh, the complex part of this. And uh, uh, we have uh, a, uh, a plane wave uh, in terms of this complex exponential um, uh, function. And that's the complex uh, uh, representation of a, a plane a plane wave. Uh, it turns out it's much easier to deal with this when we're taking lots of partial derivatives. For instance, uh, uh, if you der make derivatives, uh, partial derivatives of cosine, you're going to get minus sine. And if you take several, it's going to alternate signs. And it's uh, just easier to take uh, derivatives of this exponential form. And so that's prim the primary reason for introducing this exponential uh, 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 form. Uh, we could do an absolutely similar thing uh, for uh, the uh, uh, sine and cosine. So spherical wavelets uh, could be these. And, uh, and again, if I uh, uh, take the... Uh, uh, the real part is the cosine, and i times the sine form of the spherical wavelet. Uh, then I, uh, I get the, uh, uh, using uh, Euler's relationship, this uh, cosine plus i sine again becomes this exponential. And uh, one gets the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, complex form for the spherical wavelet, and, uh, and that's, that is often uh, helpful, too. Again, now this amplitude in general is complex, and, or this electric field is complex, uh, and this is a, a, could be a complex amplitude to account for phase uh, factors that I left off. Uh, again, the primary reason uh, to do it is simply because if you take a bunch of partial derivatives, it's easier to take uh, partial derivatives of exponentials uh, rather than sines and cosines. Uh, you generally, uh, in the complex uh, uh, form, you stay in complex uh, unless you absolutely have to have the expression for the real electric part or the, the real electric field. Uh, and then you simply just, uh, in your final expression, uh, just take the real part of it if you really need to take that. So, so rather than dealing with uh, uh, 
a cosine all the way through and getting uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, complicating uh, algebra basically. Uh, if, you, if you just do uh, uh, the complex form, uh, do your calculation, the formulas are generally simpler, especially if they involve derivatives, uh, then, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, simply take the real part of it to get the, uh, the, the electric, the real electric field, if that's uh, uh, needed to be. Most of the time you don't even need, need to do that. 